Welcome to the second episode of Sky High. This episode is fully focused on taking you deep into the depth of the 2022 Red Bull King of the Air. Some of the team are collecting the last bit of kit at our local shop, the Brand Stable. The place to go for any duotone and ion purchases, or support when you are in Cape Town. Let's see where their heads are at and what they have to say about this year's event. <laughs> Man, we have such a good team here in the event this year, it's going to be one of a, one of a kind. And I think yeah, everyone's super excited for it, it's going to be good. This is a dream come true for me. And always when I was super young, I was watching you all guys, the super legend. And I've been following you since San started kiteboarding. Yeah. And one of my dreams is was coming to ride against you, brother, and I make it come true. So I'm going to give my best. It's a dream also for me. Yeah. Since when I started kite, that's, uh, I saw it so much king of the air with you and all the guy so all the time that I watch it I say to me yeah I have to do it one day trying to keep up as well going for it I'm not quite as old as you <laughs> <laughs> but yeah I guess I've been competing for a lot of years now so I'm kind of being considered as one of the older guys especially with these guys coming through they're like not even 20 yet how old are you, how old are you Andrea? 18 18 <laughs> <laughs> Just and the progression every year I think from last year though, to this year already is like yeah. so crazy yeah. you're doing all this stuff without even straps on man it's super nah, nuts man. to see I tried thanks to you guys Fuck. so motivated you know some and double lifts as well now yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, now with the rebel bag everything's so much easier bro yeah you ride the rebel bag like, yeah the rebel's the choice yeah. for everyone though yeah. the difference is like you got the hand time, the highest, and everything. Yeah, the, stress, so yeah, the whole momentum in the... Well, what's the mindset on the water? No friends on the water, right? I try not to have any friends, but then Beto comes by and he's always smiling, <laughs> like, what's up, bro? And you're like, I have to be nice to him. <laughs> <laughs> to guess a podium is like pretty much impossible, I'd say, here. It's like, it's not putting my money on anything. No. Speaking about who will win, let's rewind and have a look back into Coda history and see who has shown up and blown up. Here's a little look into some of the highlights and who has landed on the podiums from the past. Now that you're up to speed, let's cruise down to the event site and check out the vibes and registration. Day one of the King of the Year, it's registration time. And uh, yeah, we're here to do a meeting for the, all the safety rules. And um, yeah, let's meet the crew. So right now, it's the start of the event. We're already on to a yellow light because the weekend is looking epic. So I think we're going to jump straight into the event. Well, the day has come. The wind is forecasted to blow hard and there are massive lines of swell approaching. As you know by now, big winds plus big waves equals big air. What's up guys, it's Mika here, and yeah, we're here at the 2022 Red Bull King of the Air. We have a huge fleet, and I think the guys are gonna go absolutely manic here and just throw it down and just go insane. I can't wait to see the action happen, and yeah, it's just gonna be super sick. Welcome to King of the Air 2022. It's the 10th edition, and wow, is this one gonna be a big one. A massive clash of two generations, a clash of styles. Here we go, the wind's already 30 knots. This is gonna be special. So here we have Andrea. How you possibly take this? What a move then! Conditions. Whoa, very aggressive. Maybe you make that cross in. starting to really find his rhythm. The level is super high. I mean, Lorenzo, Andrea, 
hard on Liam. I want the team to win, you know. I mean, sad this year I can't compete, you know. I have to fracture uh, cartilage. But it's part of the game, man. That's why I'm sitting there like, it's like I'm competing. My mental is in the competition. All right, just got off the water from my first heat. It went super well. I was up against Lasse Walker and Lucas Sarudi. So straight into round three now. Got a couple hours to wait and I think all of the Duotone boys are still in. Lorenzo, Andrea, Veto. So uh, yeah, can't wait to see everybody perform. Hey, Edgar here. Just got out from my first round. I won uh, against Jeremy Berlando and Steg. So yeah, can't wait for the next heat and uh, yeah, I'll keep pushing. Look how big he's going. Then look at the height of this move, it's outrageous. Wow, what a move that is. The Ori, waiting to the end, waiting to get to the apex of his jump and holding onto the board to the last second. Here is Aaron Hadlow, big takeoff with that back roll, big loop. Just arriving to the semi-final, it's a dream come true, absolutely. So cannot be more proud of than myself than just being there, you know? So thanks everyone who's pushing on my back. Here we go, strap into your seats, the first semi-final. Andrea responding with an S And then up against Andrea, I started things off in a little bit of a rush. Up against him, you have to, you have to do your best and, and absolutely kill it. And it wasn't the case, so went his way once again. Absolutely amazing heat. Massive mega loop board off back roll. That is a massive move. Look at the distance. This is the go double height loop. just beat me but man cannot be more happy to represent latin america and colombia i got it in my heart Woo! man two of the young blood riders lorenzo and andrea has been killing it they're in the finals and yeah it's gonna be punchy for sure 
Guy's been sending it with good strategy. So now we can't wait to see the final. It's gonna be epic. what happened and I'm just crazy happy was I was riding all the day on the eighth rebel and then I was reaching to the six for do the double loop and it just felt super good competing against Andrea in the final we are teammates best friend and everything and it's just the best to compete against someone who always train with you so I think Duoton this year did super good in the competition and we are really the best team you guys are feeling so good I mean I arrived in third position and I'm super happy. Two weeks ago I injured my wrist, so I did my best, guys. But the good thing that I'm already qualified for the next year, so for sure next year we will fucking broke the king of the air. The competition was crazy, the level was super high. I'm super happy, it was always my dream to win king of the air. So what can I say, my best day of my life. <laughs> 